Hey, it's Mr. Peace. I'm here at Greenville High School, and I uh, was just speaking to actually grade six. The middle school is in a different building, but they came over to the Performing Arts Center uh, to hear a really heart-focused message. And, uh, you know, here in Greenville, Michigan, home of the Yellow Jackets, uh, my first time uh, to this school, this city, actually, uh, in general. But, you know, being in my home state of Michigan, it's, it's always an honor to come and share my heart with students and staff uh, all across pure Michigan. And the focus today, though, was about bullying. Uh, the sub-theme was look at the heart first, right? To be able to see someone for their heart before anything else. Our heart's as big as our fist. If we can let love, peace, compassion, kindness fully enter into here, we can turn this into this peace sign, right? And one finger is yourself. The other is someone you're trying to lift up higher than yourself. But how you choose to treat that person, hopefully with love. But it's also two, because in just two seconds, one, two. One breath, one heartbeat, one word, one action, whether it's virtual or in person, face-to-face -face or through a phone, through a screen. You know, we always have the, that ability to uplift or destroy. And it only takes two seconds. So it's so imperative that, you know, we understand the impact of our actions that can last forever, positively or negatively, on someone's heart, uh, actions that can maybe even save a life. And to know that we can always turn hurt people who hurt people, the biggest reason I see why bullying happens, and to heal the people who heal people. And there were a lot of pin drop moments today throughout the presentation. Uh, the students really did take it to heart, you know, the adults as well. And that underlying message of uh, self-respect so we can be able to give that out to others, that, that self-love so we can love others as well was something I really tried to reinforce and hammer home. In addition to, you know, looking at someone's heart first, but also really trying to be that light to someone's heart if we choose to uh, by seeing them for this too. And uh, this is something I bring up in all my assemblies, uh, but like the front of my shirt says, miracle. That's what this M stands for. I always trace with the lines on my hand uh, with a washable marker. But uh, this M, uh, we have at least one any chance. Sometimes a faint line connects it. That M I say stands for miracle. Upside down, W is for worthy. That we're all beautiful miracles, worthy of love to both give it and receive it. But we have to believe this because a lot of people I've spoken to, uh, and you know, sometimes they've never been told this. Sometimes they need a reminder. Sometimes they've forgotten this. And to know that, you know, we have this, uh, you know, this capability and this potential you know, to make a difference uh, on so many people around us, that's what's huge. You know, I always say if something touched your heart, that means you have a big heart. And now it's up to you to go share that gift by how you treat yourself and others going forward. And if this guy who lives about two and a half hour drive away from here uh, on the southeast side of the state can touch your heart in under an hour, right, think about the difference you can make in each other's lives and that impact over an entire school year and beyond. If you just keep your hearts open to that love. So thanks for touching my heart. It was a beautiful morning. Uh, getting to speak with some of you one-on-one uh, -on -one after sharing your heart with me. And I know you're going to be doing some awesome things. Have a great rest of the school year. Hope to see you again soon. Until then, though, and as always, make sure to subscribe button and see pop up on the screen. You can also check out this playlist below for some additional motivation. And feel free to visit my website by clicking on the peace sign symbol on your phone, tablet, wherever you're watching this video to track my journey across this country as I continue to heal America's heart one school at a time. Peace.